620 waking up across northeast Kansas to mostly cloudy skies. We are tracking a cold front to sweep through the eastern plains later on today, sparking the chance for some severe weather. Here's the latest with a look at our storm outlook today. You can see that lovely yellow color painted across the eastern two thirds of our viewing area. That, of course, is a slight risk for severe weather as issued by the Storm Prediction Center down in Norman, Oklahoma. That area might be amended in a few hours. We'll be tracking that and watching that for you. As far as observations this morning, a lot of rain falling just to our north, uh, now into the western Great Lakes, but you can see that pencil thin line of rain stretching from Omaha, Nebraska, all the way into extreme western Kansas and southeastern uh, portions of Colorado. That is the cold front, and it will actually uh, line out and move closer to northeast Kansas a little bit later on today. For now, Max Track radar is dry in our neck of the woods, but a couple showers being picked up very close to the Nebraska line up in portions of Jewel, Mitchell, Osborne and Smith counties. We are tracking those showers to move to the east. You don't believe me? Well, future track shows the same thing. Here comes that cloud cover continuing to roll in across northeast Kansas by midday. This is lunchtime, the noon hour. Uh, you can see our far northwestern counties in north central Kansas getting in on the rain first. Uh, the lightest rain will actually fall in our northwestern most counties, the heaviest to the south and east as a lot of these showers and thunderstorms blossom along the front. We are tracking locally heavy rain. Uh, later on today. 87 degrees for a high temperature this afternoon. Some of those storms could be strong to severe. Watching high winds of at least 60 miles per hour with some locally heavy rain to the south and east tonight. A flash flood watch is in effect for our southeasternmost counties south of the Turnpike. 63 degrees for a low temperature. We'll take a look at our seven day forecast in a few minutes.